Zafé camp was set up just over a month ago. It's already nearing its 50,000 person capacity. Most of those staying here are women and children. They're nearly all Muslims. Most are Chadian returnees evacuated by the government from the Central African Republic. Chad has made it clear that it doesn't want these transit centers to become permanent camps. But deciding where to move these people to is no easy task. Some have already been successfully resettled to what the government's calling their region of origin. But others face the prospect of being sent back to a place they have no ties to. I am Chadian, of course, even if I've never been here until now. But some people are saying we have to leave for another place soon. We have no ties here in Chad, no family. You don't even know anybody, and you don't know where we're going next. We are worried about our future. Fana and her family aren't the only ones. Uh, the challenge that these people are facing, uh, for I would say half of them, they don't have the, the, the linkage with, the, with families in the regions. So it's a huge challenge for them because they left uh, Central African Republic since uh, more than 30 years. So uh, more than half of this uh, population who came back to Chad, they really don't know exactly where to go. The government's also tasked with trying to reunite over a thousand unaccompanied and separated children with their relatives. Many lost their parents to the bloody sectarian conflict in the Central African Republic or along the way as they fled to Chad. <laughs> Mohamed Sal managed to escape. He says anti Balaka militiamen killed his father, then threatened him and cut off part of his leg. I was taken to hospital. I had no idea where my family was, so I fled and came here. I still haven't been able to find out where they are. Finding the resources to feed and shelter such a large number of people in a country already experiencing food insecurity is a big enough challenge. A recent report said an estimated $33 million was needed for Chad to respond adequately to their needs. Dealing with the trauma many are suffering from will have to come later. Clementine Logan, CCTV.